we promised you a fail-safe way of soldering and Kate Richberg is here to show us. That's right, fail-safe and easy. Very easy. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some bangles, Katie, and I've used some pre-patterned wire, so that's a no-fail. The wire looks beautiful, all you have to do is solder it together. It's so pretty. So what I do is I cut my length of pre-patterned wire, and you know, I've used um, a bracelet bangle measuring gauge here to help me do that, because you know, you need a bangle to fit and to go over your hand nicely, but sometimes it's hard to figure out that length. So with this bracelet gauge, it just has the little um, lengths on it, and I put it, I put it here to eight and a half because I know that's my bangle size, and then I check and see if it just goes on. And if it does, if it fits right, that's how long you cut your wire. So I've cut this wire at eight and a half inches. Okay. So. Then, next, what I've done is I've shaped that um, bangle wire, that wire into um, a sort of a bangle shape. We're gonna even it up a little bit later. But we wanna make sure that our join is nice and flush and ready for soldering. So I cut that with a shear, and I just use the shear to cut that at a nice right angle and make sure those fit. Because if your join isn't flush, it's not gonna solder. You want it to be as flush as possible. Exactly. So now, this is the trick, Katie. Since we're gonna be using the butane microtorch to solder this, we really need to maximize the heat that we're using. So I have my charcoal blocks here, and I'm building like a little oven out of those charcoal blocks. So it will really hold and retain the heat when exactly. you're using the torch. Exactly, and so I'm gonna put my little, um, my little bangle right here, and the heat's gonna come hit it, and it's gonna really help it um, be nice and warm and get that metal right up to soldering temperature so it's ready to go. So you wanna make sure that the join is on the lower part of the bangle. That's right, the join's on the lower part, and it's touching that charcoal block. Now I'm gonna use solder paste, Katie, and I'm using the copper solder paste, and I'm gonna put about a two millimeter um, bit or so on there. Solder paste has a tendency to spread really well, so we don't need to worry about you know um, putting too little. We just want a little drop on there so it's ready to go. And of course, I'm putting on my glasses. If you do wear glasses, that's great, but if not, make sure that we get those safety glasses on because we wanna protect our eyes when we're using the torch. So, shall I? Yes, let's see. All right, I'm gonna pop this torch on and we're just gonna come in, we're gonna heat. Now, the reason that we're using these little charcoal blocks also is, as I, we said before, to maximize that heat. But this bangle is so large, you know, in the middle there's a lot of empty space there, so that's why it's a little more difficult to solder. So you can see I'm coming around, moving the torch nice and slowly, and as it comes, it's almost there. So I'm gonna overheat this top part. I can feel how nice and toasty that's getting. And now I'm gonna come around and you're gonna see that solder. There it flows, right there. See that? And remember, yeah. molten solder follows the heat of the torch so I can really get it in there nice and in the joint. So you're really manipulating it with the torch. Exactly. And now we quench, grab it with your um, soldering tweezers and put it right there into your quench cup. Okay. So now next, we're gonna add, you can see I've added some little designs onto these bangles. I use some letter stamps to stamp my little K on there. My which favorite is, letter. It's a great letter, it's exactly. So I'm gonna come in and put a little bit of solder paste right in the middle of that blank. Just a little bit, again, about that two millimeter blob. Now, you need to be kind of careful because your kiln brick or your um, charcoal block might be a little bit warm. So I'm just gonna lay that right down, right there with the solder up. And I know you that can... my K is also in line. And now I'm just gonna add my join because we've quenched and pickled and cleaned. This is all ready to have a second step of soldering. And I'm just gonna line this guy up line my little bangle up on top of it, just like so. And the edges of the um, charcoal block, that keeps my bangle standing up nice and straight and, and ready. And why so. you wouldn't want to make it round before you do this step. Exactly, exactly. And so now we're just gonna come in and solder that again. And it's just the same process that you did before. Remember, slowly, evenly heating the metal, because remember, it's the heat of the metal that flows your solder, not the actual flame of the torch. So nice and slow, concentrate that heat, and as you come around, you're gonna see that solder, it's almost there. And you'll see that solder flow. We saw that bangle just settle right into it. 
Sure and can. then we're ready to go. And so now we um, quench this guy. I'm gonna pick it up very carefully because remember it is hot. We're gonna quench everything here. And now we're just gonna round everything up on our bracelet mandrel. All right. And it's uh, nice and super soft now. And you can see it still has the fire scale on it. I would come in and go ahead and um, pickle this and clean it as well. But for now, let's make it round. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna slide it on the bracelet mandrel and all the way down so that it really fits nice and snug. And I can mostly shape it with my hands here, yeah. but I'll use this plastic mallet. It's so, soft, it's so can... malleable, exactly. And I'll just go ahead and tapity tap until it's nice and round. It'll help me work harden. And that's all she wrote. All right. Pretty and simple so to do. Let's take a look at these because mm -hmm. the patinas are so beautiful on this. Yeah. And I think especially Katie with this patterned wire, it's nice to have that patina to really make it show. All right, well, thank you so much, Kate. This is a great idea for oh, using the wire. It's my pleasure. Thank you.